itchy down there, burning, pain during sex, or weeing all the time since the menopause. You are not alone and you're definitely not going mad. I'm Dr. Sophie GP, here to talk about something that affects over half of postmenopausal women, but hardly anyone talks about it. It is called genitourinary syndrome of the menopause, or GSM. So, if you've been feeling sore, dry, uncomfortable, or like your bladder's playing up, this video's for you. I'm going to break it down simply and clearly. So, what is GSM? So, during and after the menopause, your body naturally makes less estrogen. And when estrogen levels drop, the tissue in and around the vagina and bladder can become thin, dry, and less stretchy. Blood flow and natural lubrication reduce as well. And this is what we call GSM. You might hear it also called vaginal atrophy or atrophic vaginitis. And it's chronic, so it means it's long-term, it's progressive, and it's common. In fact, it's really common, affecting around 50 to 70% of postmenopausal women. So what does it actually feel like? So you might notice vaginal dryness or irritation, burning, itching, or soreness, pain during sex, needing to wee more often or more urgently, pain or stinging when you do pass urine, recurrent urinary infections, or spotting after sex. Sounds not very fun, does it? But if that's sounding familiar, this might be GSM. And what about the impact? This can really knock your confidence, especially around sex and intimacy, which is really important for a lot of women. And it isn't just a physical issue. I speak to women every day about this and it affects how you feel about your body, your relationships and your well-being. But there is good news, right? There are safe, effective treatments that can make a huge difference. So what are your treatment options? First up, non-hormonal options. You can try vaginal moisturizers to help daily dryness. You can get that from the pharmacy as well as some lubricants to make intimacy more comfortable. And you can get local estrogen treatments. They come as creams, tablets, gels, pessaries or rings and work directly where you need them with very little absorption into the rest of the body. They're often safe to use even if you're already on HRT or not taking HRT at all. Some of them are available over the counter and some prescription only. There are some other options usually from a specialist. For example, a DHEA pessary called Intrarosa those who can't use estrogen and an alternative oral tablet, oral tablet that acts a bit like estrogen but doesn't affect your womb or breasts in the same way. It is important to know that if you've had breast cancer you should speak to your cancer team first. In many cases we start with non-hormonal options and only consider vaginal estrogen after discussion with your specialist. So when should you start treatment? Okay one big tip don't wait until things get unbearable. The earlier you start, the better it works. And it can take up to three months to feel the full benefit. So do be patient. So if you're struggling, it's absolutely worth speaking to your GP or menopause specialist. If you're feeling embarrassed or unsure, please know this. GSM is not your fault. You're not alone and help is available. These symptoms are treatable and you deserve to feel comfortable again. If this video has helped, please like and share. You never know who else needs to hear this. I'm Dr. Sophie GP, here to help you understand your health and feel more in control. See you next time.